Hello everybody, welcome back to Ubrink Studio. For those of you who are visiting us for the first time, my name is Anita and the studio is based in West Norfolk. This is the February challenge where we would be using tea bags to create a 3D item. And so that you can see that I've been quite professional here, I have actually made lots of notes and planned this out. So for your 3D item, making the item using tea bags, you can make things like books, envelopes, bags, purses, you can use it as a fabric, you can make pockets, um, glasses, cases, boxes, you can use it for cards, you can use it for anything. And in this first video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your tea bags. And to do this, I'm just going to adjust the camera so that you can see what I've got. For those of you who have never done this and you're thinking, ooh, surely not. Yes, we do dry our tea bags and use them, but not for another cup of tea. We use them to turn them into fabric or paper. So I'm just going to adjust this for you. And here we have our tea bags. These have dried and the, what we're aiming for is this see this nice mottly effect that we have here so the first thing that you need to do is get yourself some plates or a dish and when you've made your cup of tea and you've dunked it in give the tea bag a good squeeze and then leave it squashed to dry overnight is the best thing to do if you can leave it for more than one night in a warm room that's great but i wouldn't leave it for too long especially if you had milk in your tea because they can go mouldy so you need to keep a close eye on them once you've got a nice little group of tea bags and depending on what you're making you will need more than these obviously um, we then need to open them out now i have got a triangle one there to demonstrate and a flat one to show you how they work differently okay so two different types I haven't got a round one but the same thing will apply okay so the first thing that we're going to do is get the tea out of them so I will start with a flat one now this particular tea bag has got a seam down here which makes life much easier for us using one of these craft knives and please be careful um, make sure that you don't have it up too high you only want to be able to open it a little bit so once your craft knife is up there lock it in place so it's not going to move watch your fingers of course so in this next bowl I'm going to make sure that the tea that's inside is all going into this bowl so that I can get rid of it without too much mess. So at the moment I'm slitting down that central seam to open it out and then I'm going to slit across the edges here. Okay, and the same with this side, the tea's already coming out, if you don't feel comfortable with using a craft knife you can just pull them apart, but you need to be careful that you're not ripping them, so take your time. this it doesn't matter if there's a hole in it this one I think has got a hole in it make sure there's no creases or seams because we want a flat piece of paper be gentle but in a firm way okay any tea that's left on, scrape off. Don't rip your paper though. And once you've got them all out, 
this is what you end up with. And can you see that there? It's such a brilliant thing. There's already a design coming on there. And you can decide what that is. What does it make you think of? I think it's a map. But who knows, there's a kite in the corner. And this is what we're after. So pop that into another plate, ready for use. Now the triangle ones, we're going to do a similar thing, but you'll find that the seam where they've closed it will be down one side. So here it is. And we're now going to reopen that. So just uncurl it a bit. Some of them you can pull apart. Not this one, this one's going to have to be cut. You just slip your knife in like before. Always work away from you, not towards. That's what I'm supposed to say to you because it's health and safety. Open up the base, you'll find that when you open this up, you're only opening up any seams that have been sealed. That you still have a long piece of paper. Try not to cut the edges because it, it with, depends what you're working you're going to use it for, of course. You don't want straight edges, maybe, unless you're a quilter and then you will want straight edges. And yes, I would cut them for that. But we want to make an art piece. So that's your triangle tea bag. And it's only the tea that makes these marks. This one's a green tea. Sometimes you don't get a lot of colour with the fruit teas and they fade as well. Um, now if you go for the raspberry ones and the red coloured berried ones, you'll find that once they've dried a lot of that colour has gone. So you may have to repaint them or re-dry them. Sorry, re-dye them, not dry them. Brain's going. Okay. You might be thinking, why on earth would we want to be doing such a fiddly thing? But actually, it's all part of the fun. Now at this stage, don't do anything more with them. They might not all be completely dry. That's what we get with that one. See, what we could be doing is layering these. And do you see the two different colours from the two different teas? This is another triangle one. There is a brand of tea that does larger tea bags that are for two cups. I don't have any of those here. I have got quite a few in the house already drying because that's what we use. So you get a stronger cup of tea with those and they are much bigger bags than these. You may want to do those. Round tea bags as well, much, much more interesting. Depends on what you're going to be making, of course, with your piece. So we've got that back to that shape now. And we will just open up this side seam. And 
going to come back along here and see what we have. So that's another one. Okay. Once you've got them all done, and I'm not going to keep sitting here opening up bits of tea bag for you because I know that you actually know now what to do. So just so that you can see the sort of shapes and designs that you get on your tea bags and the different colours. So we've got a green one and a black one there and you can layer them up. You can draw into them, you can paint into them and I will show you how to do that on the next video. Sometimes if you've got some tea in there still it can be quite an interesting effect. Okay, so there we have some tea bags. You can already see that that would make a fabulous piece of fabric. You can layer these to make your own new paper. So just stick them down on top of each other and you have a new sheet of paper. You can draw into them, you can paint into them, you can make cards with them, anything. And it also means that you're not putting them back into the environment because we're reusing them. And that, my friends, is how you make your tea bags usable. So anyone that drinks tea using a tea bag, collect them off them, ask them to save them for you. Don't tell them what you're going to do with them if you don't want to, because they won't believe you. My son thinks I'm absolutely crackers when I gave him a big bowl and said to him, could you make sure you squash all those tea bags in there? Um, he just looks at me and shakes his head, which now it makes me feel good because I know I'm doing something that is completely different and out of the norm. There are many people that actually make things using the tea bag papers, uh, lampshades and books, book covers, um, you can make bags, purses, all sorts of things, cards, pictures. It's amazing what you can do with it. Once you know how, you may find that it's your thing and take it to the extremes. The whole point of these little exercises that we're going to be doing over the next few months is to get you to experiment, get you to do something that you may not have done or may not have thought of, but you may have done it in a workshop somewhere. Um, perhaps if you've been to one of the big shows and had 10 minutes or an hour somewhere and had a quick go at something and everything's pre-prepared for you, this time you can prepare it yourself. So whilst we're in lockdown, just think to yourself, what can I do with a tea bag? I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.